Hey there friends, Abby Brown here from Iowa PBS. Come wander and wonder with me. Claire and I are gonna make warm fuzzies. Claire, you look so beautiful today. Thank you. You're welcome. How did that make you feel when you got that compliment? Uh, happy. Happy is one of those words that describes what I like to call a warm, fuzzy, it's a good feeling that you feel inside when you get things like compliments. What are some other words that describe a warm, fuzzy? Confidence. Confidence, yeah. Compliments give you confidence. I would also say that compliments build friendships and connectedness and it feels warm when you get a compliment. You know what else gives a warm fuzzy? A hug. Did that make you feel good inside? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Claire, should we make some warm fuzzies today? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So the first step in making a warm fuzzy is to wrap it around something a whole bunch of times, okay? And when I made these, I used my hand because I have a pretty big hand. Let me see how big your hand is. Oh yeah, definitely gonna need something bigger than that. How about, how about a book? This is gonna work perfect for making warm fuzzies. And it wouldn't have to be a book. It could be anything that you can wrap your yarn around a whole bunch of times, but just make sure that we wrap it enough, loose enough that it can come off easily, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is stick the end of the yarn, grab that piece, right inside, and close it. Now take the book with this hand and just start wrapping it around. Okay, now you told me today that you counted to 100 at school, is that true? When you wrap it around, I want you to count to 50. Can you count to 50? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 49 eight, and 50. 50. The next step is to snip your yarn, okay? So the next step is to just pull your yarn right off your book. I'm gonna pull mine right off my hand. Here we go. Boom, okay, keep it straight. Keep all those pieces together just like that. That's perfect. Now, this is going to become a necklace. So we need another piece of yarn to wrap around it and wrap around your neck. What color of yarn do you want for your necklace? This color. You want the bright colors like mine? Okay. And we'll get a nice long piece because you can always trim it, right? Okay, so we'll lay your yarn down flat and we wanna lay this on top of it and wrap it around the whole bundle, okay? Perfect. Can you get it wrapped around there? Yup, good job. There you go, and then let's tie it too. So we'll take these two pieces and just tie them really nice and tight together. You know that trick how you put your finger down right in the middle to keep it tight? <laughs> Can you help me with that? Okay, ready? There you go. Okay, can you put your finger down in there? Good job. Okay, and since this is gonna be a necklace, we're gonna tie these two ends too. We're almost there, but it doesn't quite look like my warm fuzzies yet, does it? What do you think we need to do to all of these? Um, make them into a ball. Make them into a ball. How could we do that? These are all connected, and these have loose ends. Cut them out. We're gonna cut them, yeah, so. And all you're gonna do is slip your scissors right inside there and snip them all apart. You got it! Good job, that's kind of fun, isn't it? There you go. All right, moment of truth. Should we do it together? Yeah. Ready, set, go. All right, this looks so good. How do I look in mine? Good. I do? warm fuzzy thank you now these are nice to show how warm and fuzzy those good feelings can be but there's one more step to this project are you ready to learn about it yeah so if everybody in the house had a warm fuzzy necklace like you and I we could do this project with everybody that's here we could do it with your class we could do it 
with your friends at school. We can do it with any group. And here's how it goes. Watch this. I'm gonna take one of my warm fuzzies and pull it out just like this. And then watch this. When I give you a compliment, I'm gonna tie it onto your string. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Claire, I have so much fun when I get to hang out with you. And now I tie it onto your string and now you'll have my compliment forever and ever. How does that make you feel? Happy. Cool. All right, Claire, it's your turn to give a compliment. Do you have one in mind? Do you have, do you know, is there anybody here that you wanna give a compliment to? It doesn't have to be me, it could be anybody. Do you do your mom? Come on over, mom. Here you go, you know what to do, put it on. Claire, do you have a compliment ready for your mom? Yeah. What is it? Um, that she takes care of us so well. Oh my Aww. goodness. Mom, how did that make you feel? So happy. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Claire. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. You know, Claire, you were pretty brave. And I know you really well, so when I give you a compliment, I know that it's gonna make you feel good. And you know your mom pretty well, right? Yeah. So you knew that when you gave your mom a compliment, it was gonna make her feel good, right? Yeah. But you know what? Giving a compliment isn't always that easy if you don't know somebody real well, right? Yeah. Have you ever felt a little nervous about a compliment before? Yeah. What are some other ways that you feel when you give a compliment? A little scared. It can be a little bit scary, can't it? And you have to be kind of brave to give a compliment, don't you? These warm fuzzies help us to be brave, don't they? Yeah. And there's lots of reasons that people feel a little bit nervous or scared about giving a compliment. And it's because we're not sure that it's always gonna make somebody else feel so good. Yeah. And we don't know why that is, right? We really are taking a risk by giving a compliment. And that's why what you did today is so incredible. Did you get another warm fuzzy when I told you that? Yeah. Yeah. Claire and I talked about giving compliments and even made... Warm fuzzies. What adventures will you go on? You have fun with it. Thank you.